Welcome back, guys, to Factorio Town Season 2. This is Episode 137 with me, Massive Dynamic, and also we're here with Laura Haneke. She is out there on the map working on what looks like a, a whole other new town. She's doing something. I don't know what she's doing over there. She just laid down a giant blueprint for a new town. I don't know how she did such a thing, but uh, that's what it looks like to me. Uh, and I think she must have been working in her creative mode version of the world and built a whole new section of the map in creative mode and she's importing it, it looks like, which is pretty fantastic. Oh, Sigma. Great. Hello, Sigma. Uh, yeah, thanks a lot. That's a uh, special thanks to Sigma for all of his comments. Uh, so yeah, Laura's built you a new town, Sigma. So, uh, that is going to be great. Uh, but anyway, thanks Laura for that. We appreciate it. And I'm just going to say, wow, cool new town. Please don't hit the period button. Um, and anyway, thanks uh, so much for being here guys. But this is Factorio Towns where we do things a bit different than any Factorio that you've ever seen before. In Factorio Towns, we don't use a main bus and we don't use um, city blocks. We do everything in towns and our new town that we're working on is here. It's actually a town that was built by one of our subscribers, Bubloop, who is very busy in real life and is not able to join us lately. Um, and looks like Laura's giving me a warning about something that's going to be polluting real soon. We'll check that in just a second. Um, but uh, anyway, what was I saying? Oh, Bubloop. Yeah, Bubloop has been busy in real life and can't join us. So he asked me to finish his town for him, which is here. It's going to be our military science town. Uh, in the last episode, we finished up our, um, our blue science town, which was the writing lefty right over here. And also its supply towns, including the Smithinson engine town. So those are all, uh, fully functional, not, not perfect, but fully functional. Anyway, we don't worry too much about perfect here in Factorio towns. We just like to get stuff in because part of the fun is that uh, we're, we're pretending like these towns were built independently of each other and as the needs uh, were um, kind of noticed then people responded by building the things that uh, seemed to be required uh, at the time so typically when things are built like that then they're not built uh, future proof they're built uh, only for the very r right now and uh, so that's kind of the way we build things here we concentrate on the immediate needs and we don't worry about the future needs until such a time that that need is um, apparent so uh, real quick let's take a look at building a stacker here um, this is uh, by request of Sigma, actually. Sigma asked about uh, how to build a stacker in a recent comment, and I told him that I would take a look at it. And so this is, to me, this is the easiest way to build a stacker, is to put it on a diagonal, um, because it's uh, it takes up less room, and if you go like, uh, like this goes, inbound to the west and then outbound to the west, it gives you this um, uh, S shape, I guess. It's kind of an S shape. Is it an S? It's whatever. Oh, it's a Z? Backwards Z. Whatever this shape is here that we're looking at right here is the easiest one to maintain uh, or, or to, uh, to build, I think. Uh, but anyway, what you do is uh, you have to have, use, use your uh, chain signal at the beginning and your regular signals in the stacker and then your chain signals at the output of the uh, stacker and then build your loops for your stations uh, like this and then the outputs goes back this way and that way the trains can come in and they'll stack up right here in this area and that way they'll be ready for when they're needed in their actual station destination here and they can get back out 
freely and you can add more signals to break up these blocks as much as you would like to you can even add like a double output uh, lane or even a double input lane if you want to if you have that much traffic uh, but I think the main answer to your question is sort of over here more, and that is in your signaling. And this is something that we addressed a few episodes ago. In this T, in, in this T intersection right here is my old version, where there's not quite enough room for the trains to fit um, in the intersection. As you can see, it overlaps the intersection right here if the train comes all the way to here and stops then it gets stuck on top of uh, that crossing there so really what you need to do is when you build your intersection you need to know the length of your trains your longest train and the the right way to do it is never to put any signal uh, in a place where it would allow your longest train to block the intersection and then you will, if as long as you do that, you will never block an intersection because your point, your trains cannot uh, stop in that way. So what I did was when I uh, created my new intersection, which is this blueprint here, you can see that I stretched it out a bit. If I put it on top of this one, you'll see I stretched it out so that the signals uh, do not allow the trains to stop on any intersection. Uh, so that they can't block it. Now in the old towns, I did not worry about it uh, because like I said, in the old towns, we were more concentrated on just getting the towns established. And you know, we, we weren't looking at uh, needing a lot of production. Uh, we were going for like, um, you know, one science uh, a second or so, which doesn't take a lot of, of of uh, production to get to that point um, so um, that was the way things were but now we're starting to think about how can we get production uh, increased and so blocking intersections is kind of more of an issue for us now speaking of which we have a train sitting right here that is not moving because of we need aha it looks like we need how did this one uh this one section has run completely out of ore and cannot get any because we didn't do a, a splitter there uh so we need to add a uh, balancer right there uh let's go ahead and take care of that while we're here before we st where was that that i just saw that was it right here yeah Let's take care of that before we start on working on our actual project for the episode, which is getting this town started. And also we need a name for this town, which we'll need to take a look at our list. And I think that our next town is going to be Mecca Queen. All right, Mecca Queen. So that will be your new town. That's over there where Bub Loop is. Uh, but for right now, let's take care of this issue that we just spotted right here and what we need to do is just add a balancer uh, right here and I think we're just gonna do it on the fly what, what do we have here we have like um, let me get out of my get out of my spider so I don't dance around we're gonna do something like this and actually we'll put that together and then we'll just do it like this there 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 and there okay and quickly this there okay that and I'm just gonna leave that there. All right, now let's get our spider. Oh, I got in the wrong spider, of course. There we go, I get in the right one. Now let's grab this guy and have him follow. Okay, now back to work we go. Uh, anyway, I've completely lost track of what I was saying, but uh, we are going to take a look at what bub loop's got going on and honestly i haven't even looked at what he's got going on here uh to see what we need uh, let's see he's 
exporting water. Okay, I don't even know that I knew that, did I? No, he's importing water. What am I saying? Uh, he's importing water for oil and... Oh, there's an iron train. Okay, he... Did he do this? Or maybe Laura just did that because Bubloop said we need to get iron in. Uh, but anyway... Nope. Not me. Okay, good. It wasn't Laura. Alright. Thanks, Laura. I didn't even realize that she had joined. I asked her to join um, Discord chat so that she could hear me record and I didn't see her get on. So uh, I'm glad to see she's here. Hello, Laura. Thanks again so much for everything you're doing. And uh, yeah, we must have uh, brought this train in at some point and just never unloaded it yet. Um, didn't receive the notification for some... Yeah, that happened. I Same thing happens to me sometimes. Okay, so let's get our iron unloaded here. And then, like I said, I haven't really looked at this town as far as what it needs, so we're just going to play it by ear, knowing the things that are required for uh, military science. It's not definitely not one of the harder sciences so i don't know why i'm doing this the, the slow hard way but uh, maybe i can it's because i know why it is it's because um because i can't think and build at the same time there we're gonna do this like this and then we'll copy this and paste it in. Okay, so, uh, by the way, welcome, Laura, to uh, the episode. Thanks so much for playing with us today and for all the work you've been doing. We do appreciate it. Uh, okay, so that will get us our iron in. Now, let's take a look at military science. Now that I said that it's easy to do. Uh, yeah, so we need iron, copper, steel, coal, um, stone brick. Uh, oh, there's the list right there. I'm looking at it and not paying attention to it. Yeah, iron, copper, steel, coal, and stone brick. So we have our iron in. You know what we might do is just convert one lane of iron into steel. Um, so that would be... Are these named? Okay, no. Let's bubble water, bubble iron. Uh, okay, so this is... Um, we're, we're keeping this town named Bubble uh, apparently. Uh, I think we had already decided on that name when Bubloop started the town. So, um, so Mecca, next town is going to be yours. Sorry about that. Uh, but this is already Bubloop's town, and he's already named it Bubloop. So it'll be Bubloop Military, I guess. We we already have a Bubloop town, but it's okay. <laughs> Bubloop is a, a loyal subscriber, and. Uh, uh, he's on our Discord, and we play with him as much as we can, so he gets whatever he wants. So this is Bubloop Town Military, Bubloop's Military Town. Uh, but anyways, let's see here. So we need to... All right. It's hard enough for me to build a town on my own, but to, to pick up from where Bubloop left off is challenging my brain. Uh, so let's let's just get all our imports in first. So we'll take uh, Actually, I'm gonna copy this and paste it here and get out of my way And here and here and here, all right Okay, and then we'll just change those names as needed. So one of those will be maintenance which will be probably this end one so, bubble loop. Um, bubble loop military. Uh, 
Uh, maintenance. There. Uh, oh, wait a minute. I forgot to add the um, military science emblem. There, there. Okay. All right. And then, so this is public military. Let's change all of these names. So that I don't get confused. Oh, he's got Bub Loop 2. Alright, but I'm going to change it to Bub Loop Military. Iron Import. Okay. And that's for iron. And... Alright, now we're going to copy that name. And we'll change this one. Bub loop. Water. Uh, water is here, there. <clears throat> okay, and he's importing water because, I guess, because he wants to make explosives here, but we're going to concentrate on the military science for now. And we will deal with the explosives and things later. Uh, for now, we're just going to get our military science in. So we're going to take uh, iron and copper here. Then this will be copper. And we'll change that to copper. Okay, and then we, we are going to convert, wait a minute, if I convert one lane of iron, that is not going to be enough. We probably need to convert like three lanes of iron into steel if we're going to convert it here instead of importing it. Uh, so let's try that and see how that works. We can always add another station later. Uh, we will need coal here. And what else do we need? So we have iron slash steel, copper, coal, and we need stone brick. So stone brick is our, not on that list, it's on this list there. So this will be brick. Okay, there we go. Um, now, let's see. Do I have furnaces? Electric furnaces? I do not. Um, let's see. As far as... I'm just going to look at the... We need one steel... Is that for... Yeah, one... No, I think we're going to have to import steel. I don't think we can... I don't think we can convert steel here because it would be... That would be too limiting on our... Um, resources I think because it would devour all of our iron so we're just going to take this whole thing and we're going to copy and paste it out this way like that and did that connect no there and make this connection up here in there. Okay. Um, so that should give us that's brick import and that one then is maintenance. Yeah, okay, good. So this will actually be steel imports. Okay. Uh, I think we're gonna have to do 
a bit of infrastructure work in order to make this town work. Uh, and also, I need to change the name on that because it's contradictory there. That should be steel. Get rid of that V. Okay, there. Okay, there. Um, yeah, we will have to... What do we got here? A bunch of spiders with a bunch of... He's got all kinds of stuff here ready for us, which is pretty fantastic. Thanks, Bubu. Uh, we might have to commandeer all of these spiders, too. Um, but anyways, in order to get this thing going, let's get all of these unloaded. And we'll have to look at infra... That's what I started to say. Infrastructure-wise, I think we're going to need to do some... Some work... Because I don't know that we can support all of these things yet. I think I'll have to just look. I'll have to look at it, think about it, what we need and what we have. Um, man, I'm having a hard time lining these up right now. That goes there, and that goes right there. Okay. There. A lot of inserters. Alright, I don't know that Bublu spiders have insurgents in them. But uh, we'll come back to that. Alright, now let's think about where we're going to do our work. So, uh, first of all, let's grab a... Uh, well, let's look at the recipe again. Don't know what... Uh, I'm not... Yeah, I'm, uh, what am I doing? I'm clicking on that. Uh, okay, so we need to make uh, grenades. There's no prerequisites for grenades, but there is for... The only thing that we need prerequisites for is firearms magazines. So we'll have to get some of those going. And um, so... Oh man, Laura's got a whole nother town going in over there. She is on fire. She's got multiple towns being constructed at the same time. She's amazing. Um, anyways, I uh, got totally distracted. So I need to grab one of these blueprints right here. Like this one right here is fine. So that we can start. Um, it's just easier to grab an existing blueprint. There. Okay, now uh, we'll plop this down like over here somewhere. So that we can edit it and get figured out uh, so something like this would be um, just the basis for uh, anything that we need so if we just kind of make this blank for now then we can think about what we need to uh, get started so we need like I said military science so we'll need regular firearms magazines one of those for every three of the piercing rounds. And then we'll need grenades and walls. So three productions going into and then making our... Okay, so we have to think about the room that we have here. The space that we have available to us. How we're going to get everything in and out of here. And you know what? We need another station for exports also. Uh, which we can do, like, maybe we'll do the exports out this way. Let's do our production right over here. So we'll have to clear some trees. Let's, let's go ahead and clear all these trees over here. I just need, kind of need a blank slate here. Like I said, it's, it's extra taxing on my brain to pick up where somebody else left off. Even something simple like military science, which is not very complicated at all, but it's just the the whole idea that uh, I, I kind of want to honor what Bubby started, and I, I sort of hate to uh, I sort of hate to um, do something that 
you know, is not like in the style that he wanted it to be in. Uh, which kind of makes me hesitant to do anything. But I'm just going to have to go for it because... Bubbloop can't get back to it, unfortunately. So, sorry, Bubbloop, if this doesn't meet your standards. Uh, but hopefully, it will do justice to your original plan. Uh, but anyways, let's... Now that we have that, now that I have kind of a blank to look at, I think I'm better... My mind is starting to get geared up for what we're doing. Okay, so now... I think we can take this thing and we can start placing our blueprints down. I think if we place our blueprints down, then all we have to do is fill them in. So let's do, if we assume that we're gonna put our bullets right here, we can do, let's do two of those for now. Uh, and then we'll do, leave ourselves a little bit of room. Uh, let's say that we do walls next. If that's bullets, then that's walls. And then this would be grenades. We know that we need more grenades than anything else because they're the slowest. Is that three, four, five, six? I'm gonna do eight of these just because that's the ratio that I'm used to. And like I said, we can always adjust these things later. Okay, so that's grenades. And then assuming that uh, wall, walls go so fast, I think we're okay there. Assuming that that's grenades, then if we so we have bullets, walls, grenades. So then I'm gonna do one of these just as a placeholder and then that way I can place this one here for the um, the other bullets, the red bullets. If I have, okay, I'm not gonna have as much room as I thought I did. So I could have just came down that way in the first place. All right, now it's just a matter of the logistics of making all of these things work, uh, which is uh, the challenge. And then finally, uh, we need to assemble all of that into the science packs. So let's say that we get all of our ingredients that way, and then we do science packs this way. So the one, two, Three, four, and five. We'll do five for now. There, okay. And then this thing here, I'm gonna turn this into a blueprint that I'm just gonna hold on to. Put that in my pocket for later and then delete it from there. Alrighty then. So let's say that this is going to be our basic setup military science that we will tweak later once we get so now there's a lot to do here we have to get all of our ingredients imported we have to finish up our we need a bunch of stuff so we need to run back to Forza to grab a bunch of stuff uh, but before we do let's go ahead and build uh, some signage here from bubble loop um, tempted to jump into one of bubble loops spiders because he's got a bunch I saw one of them had a bunch of concrete in it I don't know which of these is the leader I'm gonna assume it's the red one let's see yep okay now what do we have to work with here oh good concrete excellent so let's get do we have regular concrete good okay so let's grab some of that and let's get our sign going right over here. Maybe right here. Um, 
This is good. Maybe a little bit bigger. Like this. Seriously, that's all we have? Anybody else got some? None of you guys have more concrete. All right, we'll have to get the concrete train in. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's get uh, this train and we'll send it to Bubble Loop Military. Bubble Loop Military Maintenance. There we go. There and there. Okay, there we go. Alright guys, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and end the episode right here because we've been kind of uh, kind of babbling for a while. So I'm going to take a few minutes to think about what exactly we're doing here and then in the next episode we'll pick it back up again. So Laura, thank you so much uh, for all that you've been doing in the meantime and we'll catch up with you and the rest of uh, our viewers in just a few minutes after we uh, take a minute and think about how Bubble Loop is going to progress and we'll see you in the next episode. Thanks guys. Thanks for watching. Laura says bye-bye. See you next time.